thing is in there like a mixer. So just turn it round. And you can see it's not absorbing all the, all the flowers, so you've got to add a little bit more. Yeah, so I was staying at Mary's. And I was late getting to see Mary. I was doing a program with Sarah. Is that a new white buddy? Uh, I was doing a program with Sarah Millican. Um, I was doing a scone thing with her. And I was in Manchester. I had to get down to Mary's because we were doing a, a BBC breakfast show. And um, <laughs> it's an embarrassing story. So I, I said, Mary, just go to bed. I'm not going to be there before 12 o'clock. No, 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 I'll wait up for you. He said, no, go, you know, go to bed, don't worry. I said, I'm not worried, I'm going to cook you something to eat. And you get in, I said, it's too late. Just go to bed, leave the key, and I'll, I'll sort myself out. She said, no, I'll wait for you. So half past 12, I arrived at night. She was there in her dressing gown, bringing me in. And I said, oh, bless you. So I, I prepared this, she made me uh, some bacon, some egg, and maybe a cup of tea, and I went to bed. And um, she said, I'll wake you up with a coffee in the morning. I said, all right, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> this is very bit tricky. I woke up uh, about quarter to six <laughs> and there was a cup of coffee sitting on the bedside table already. I'm a bit of a restless sleeper and I sleep naked. I was naked when I woke up and there was a cup of coffee there. So I'm just praying it was her husband that brought that cup of coffee in. I went by, I couldn't look her in the face for about a week. <laughs> Um, so what I've got here, all I've done is basically just mix this round and you can see at the moment it's, it's still quite still quite a tight dough. So I'm just going to crush that.